Hey you guys, welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope that you're doing so well wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. Now, I wanted to come at you with this video because what's going on? All right, so earlier today I did a video, a brief video, on the official picture from Kensington Palace of the Princess of Wales and her three kids taken by no other than the future king, Prince William, the Prince of Wales, okay? Credited in everything on their socials, they posted this. And it was supposed to have been taken by Prince William earlier last week. Now, just catching up, we did get a picture, a really grainy photo of what we thought they was Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales, and her mother. But when the graininess is removed, well, even with the graininess, you can see that that does not look like the Princess of Wales that we knew back in 2023, okay? Like, not at all. So then we're looking like, what is going on? What is it's all very peculiar because when they zoom into the picture, apparently moles that were supposed to be on her face are missing. She's in the car with her mom, whoever this person is, or maybe Pippa, um, in the car with their mother. But it doesn't look like her. It does not look like her at all. Her face was like more widened or like swollen. Um, and then the fact that they had reported that the Prince of Wales was supposed to be taking the kids to uh, school. So why would they be showing this picture of Kate taking them to school? Like she's all well and good. So it's been a PR disaster since the moment that they put out the statement that the Princess of Wales went into a planned abdominal surgery. From that moment forward, the questions were starting, little whispers, nobody was really paying attention, you know. Then it just like, it was like thing after thing after thing. weird behavior with William, him coming out to this event swaying, King Charles and the cancer, Sarah Ferguson and the cancer, this mysterious passing by alleged potential, you know, taking of your own life with Thomas Kings Kensington. Um, the speculation is at an all time high for the royal family. I have never seen this before. And something that happened just moments ago, I've never seen happen before. And I'm just so caught off guard. And it's making this frenzy of people like talking about it online just even worse. The speculation and mystery has just been kicked up a notch now because every time they try to rectify the situation or silence people, they run into doing it absolutely horrible. PR is just trash. Like they I don't know who is doing it, but the it's it's so effing bad since the moment they put out the planned surgery. And of course they caught the video of the convoy on the 28th. So everyone's speculating that that's when she was taken to wherever. Um what I'm about to talk about, the most recent <clears throat> news that we have gotten that is just like I, I like how do we explain this you guys like I, I I'm trying to remain diplomatic but it's just like how do we explain this so they put the picture out I said I would take it as at face value and, and unless there was concerns and or questions so now eight hours have gone by and there are concerns and there are questions because one of the big questions are, where is her her, wing, her ring? Why isn't she wearing her ring? What's happening in there? Um, people are like, oh, she's at home. She doesn't have to wear her ring. Like even when I'm at home, I don't wear my ring. This, that, another, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm not married. Never had a ring. <laughs> um, so I'm not really sure about that, but I can imagine that being true. And her ring was massive, very valuable and all those things. That would be like an okay answer if they hadn't dug up a picture of her wearing her ring while making like she was doing like a baking activity with her kids seemingly in a home environment. So that is kind of just showing okay so she was baking which your hands can get messy and stuff and get food all in the crevices and everything like that. Um, she has the ring on then 
why wouldn't she have the ring on now? And especially they know that they're at the height of speculation with everything that they put out. Why would you give yet another reason for something to be questioned with her not having her ring on when there's already speculation that these two are no longer together and that there's trouble in paradise? And that William is trying to go, like go it as a single man. Like it, it's just like, who is not paying enough attention to details? what is happening like it's so weird it's also the fact that you know if this photograph was last week it's really not explaining how her appearance in that car with her mother like how because her appearance in this picture looks completely different than the picture of what we saw of her in in the car taking the kids to school or to going back or whatever with her mom like they don't resemble at all so like it doesn't make sense and then they're also saying, oh, she's wearing jeans right after a, you know, abdominal surgery. And I saw a lot of comments saying that, you know, the last thing that they would want to do after an abdominal surgery is be in jeans. I personally had my laparoscopic myomectomy. I'm on recovery right now. I haven't yet to put a jean on my legs and I don't plan to for quite a while just because it's uncomfortable. So, I mean, she is far removed if it happened what what day did they do the um press release so it had to be a little bit before january 17th something like that and the convoy was the 28th of december so like it is it, we're in march that's like a lot of time but like still i feel like if she's having to be away for so long how is she okay to put on jeans like skinny jeans nonetheless and it's just like so are you going to be okay to do trooping the colors because didn't you just have them remove that off their site so are we gonna see you at events before easter because now we see you now oh, even though they just told us that guidance stands and like to stop asking questions because we're not going to see you till after easter but yeah we see this picture of you here and like people are talking about all types of pho photoshop fail i just know that they are over in that comps department in kensington palace biting each other's effing heads off <laughs> biting it is a fucking three ring circus in that bitch because who is making the decisions who is making the calls who is writing the script the plot is lost they're losing control of the narrative that they have for years been able to like have this facade that everything is okay and now everything is very much not okay and they're very much trying to hide it and it's showing it's bleeding and it, they can't stop it like and it's concerning because i don't understand why it can't be so simple as okay william take a picture of your family and fucking post it why does all that sh why does it need to be edited photoshopped this and other blah, blah blah to the point where major publications are recalling your photos that ha have been stamped as official from the palace taken by the future king prince william the prince of wales that is the worst look <laughs> like I, I just it couldn't be like their image their pr couldn't be more worse I, i'm I th i'm thinking about going to school for like public relations because this shit is very interesting because I, who is the team <laughs> who is the team like there could have been a better stra uh, a better strategy <clears throat> They could have just told the truth. Like, if she's not doing well, say she's not doing well. You get a lot more sympathy that way. Um, if there are, you know, issues within the relationship, it's 2024. You can be divorced. <laughs> like, who, I mean, would it be a big deal? Yes, but you get through it. We move on to the next and it'd be wrap. Like, okay. Like, I just it's just the worst because now it's like do you trust anything that they put out because everything they've tried to do seems like it's coming from like a deceitful shady trying to cover the story type of way so whoa yeah so international news agencies are killing the first official photo of kate supposedly after her surgery because the source kensington palace a la via prince william has manipulated the image they're saying the source where it originated from they've already claimed it on their socials that they did it <laughs> oh 
holy shit. And they're just calling them out and saying that it is doctored. How crazy. You wanna come up? Come up here. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, they're already saying that this shit, that is the worst look in the world. And people have gone through, zoomed in, edited, changed the colors, and they're seeing all these Photoshop fails. They're also looking in the background talking about some why are the leaves green on the trees when it's like not spring quite yet. Like I know around me, we don't have leaves on our trees yet. These trees are just as bare as they want to be. So they are on a palace. Maybe they got something different going on there. I have seen people taking pictures of like their front and backyard and their area where they're living over in the UK showing no leaves on the trees. But of course, I'm, I'm sure that they have something going on different over there where there's greenery and stuff that they can have as their backdrop. But um, also, you can't really see a reflection. Um, they're talking about the kids' hands, how they're like oddly crossed, especially little Louie over on the side. They're talking about how it's kind of blacked out in the abdominal area and the proportions of like her legs and stuff look weird. Some imaging looks skewy with the floor. Like they have gone in to the point where these publications are putting kill notices and recalling this photo and I am just like so so perplexed so perplexed this is Shouldn't Sky News talking they about this please say that Laura is here with me now now Laura of course there is the photograph what do we understand is happening by these photo agencies these news agencies with it this is all really strange and you know happening as we speak but let me explain what we That's do them know saying that we have know. some uh respected international news agencies deciding to kill this photo in other words they are pulling it from their distribution I've never seen that. websites because they believe it has been changed altered Doctor, photoshop, photoshop. Call it what you like. they don't believe Doctor, this is fake, the fraudulent. photo in its original form now associated press ha, ha, has, is among those who associated decided to, to kill this photo to pull it they That's say a, a closer inspection it appears that the source has manipulated the image now remember the source of this photo we were told by there. Kenzie Cavallis was Prince William himself he took this photo uh in windsor last week he is behind it now we don't know what manipulation of the image actually means so we don't know how much uh, of this people have already is peeped it original form is it a filter are there tweets we, we just simply don't know what we do know is that kensington palace have declined to comment about this and they're not commenting it just makes it all the more bizarre of course. And in terms of the speculation around this photo it is only going to fuel the fires i think even of those conspiracy more conspiracy theorists and of course, this photo was released for, for Mothering Sunday, of course, showing the family. But it was also there to try and dampen down some of those fires from the yes. conspiracies. But with what's happened now, it's certainly going to inflame it. Yeah. And look, certainly Kensington Palace were hoping that this one picture would paint a thousand words. And we, we see Kate there. She it looks paints healthy. a thousand she words, happy. all right. She's surrounded by her children who seem to be laughing, having a good time. Now, the fact it was taken. They're saying that it's like an AI image. Like, it's... Her husband by William made it feel all the more personal, I think. They were hoping this would put to bed a lot of the, you know, outrageous rumours that have been, you know, finding themselves an audience online. But I think the fact that we've got these news agencies saying we don't believe this is the original form of the photo that's been the manipulated, news. It, it is certainly gonna gonna leave a lot of people asking even more questions about what's going on. And they're saying on closer inspection, not they're not going on the online speculation, they're going on the work that they have done. Yes, as well. they've done their own. Like it's not online speculation that is having these publication associated press saying, Oh no, actually we're removing that. They've done their own, they looked at it themselves photojournalists, journalists, people, professionals in this field looking at this shit saying, oh, that's not right. And then dig further. Like, I think that's kind of a big deal. How do you trust monarchy that does can't even tell you what's going on with their health? Like, what about bigger things like national security and all that type of shit? Like, when you can't even be honest about the health of the princess of wales like if she's not okay then tell the people she's not okay like i don't 
take a picture take a regular picture and put it out there why does it have to have all of this and all of that if the picture is what the picture is it would only need to be doctored if some shit is up you said Kensington Palace has not, has not responded yet. How will the palace, you think, respond to this? They won't be hoping this goes away and goes away quickly. Oh, it's uh, not. We, we, it's just going to be another tack on the board until someone else but I think, you know, the bigger picture here makes a is, poor decision in their PR. Kate had always said, and the word was, mm. that she'd had the abdominal surgery. We're going to tell you everything we want to tell you right at the start. So in the middle of, the ja of January, we were told the operation had taken place. It was a success. There would be this recovery period of two to three months. We weren't expecting to see her on any public facing engagements this side of easter but other than that there wouldn't be a running commentary but of course what that meant was that the absence of as i was saying in my report the absence of any information coming forward meant there was a gap yes and that gap was filled with, with all lots the rumors of and the speculation like. so rumors this photo i think was conspiracy. released to just try and calm everything down and it went horribly and let the princess and she has the right to privacy obviously you know continue her recovery but I think it is just going to add fuel, as I say, flames to the fuel the flames of, of all of all the theories flying around. Some of the senior rules will be out tomorrow as well. Yeah, oh, so that yeah. will be under the spotlight even more. It's the Commonwealth Day service, which is a big set piece event that takes place. Oh maybe, no! It would normally be the king leading the family. Obviously, he's off work at the moment as well. He's re recorded a message. We're going to see how slim it is, y'all. The first time we'll have seen him directly speaking. In if they go because i believe i read that william's supposed to be at this event if there's another oh cannot show up due to personal reasons right after this doctored picture front of a camera so there'll be a lot of kind of scrutiny of what how he's looking what he says as well we'll see prince william there but it'll be camilla leading the family and comes. another sign really of this new royal order and camilla coming back from holiday thank you very much for that royal Bundle, our royal correspondent and Kensington Palace. it is all over like they broke the internet today but probably not in the way that they wanted to and the fact that they put this out to try to calm the speculations and it did the exact opposite is just like Holy crap. Like, it's a whole notice. Kill notification. Associated Press. Um, client, uh, kill notification. Clients, please be advised that the following story has been killed and should no longer be used. Story title, UK Royal Princess. Story number, blah, blah, blah. Date of original transmission, March 10th, 2024. At closer inspection, it appears that the source has manipulated the image. No replacement photo will be sent. Please remove it from all platforms, including social, where this may still be visible. You are receiving this email because the Associated Press is now serving notice of video kills to customers via an operational email. This change will ensure all needed parties are, well, are aware of any relevant issues with Associated Press video content. Whoa. So there we have it, folks. Like, I'm sure you've seen it online. They've made collages of the different Photoshop fails. You see the little girl's arm here. It definitely is a different color here of plaid next to this blue. Um, it, it's just, they're talking about the floor tiles over here. It's just like, Wow. AFP restricted to editorial use is another kill notice. Um, mandatory credit, AFP photo, Prince of Wales, Kensington Palace, no marketing, no advertising campaigns, distributed as service to clients. Uh, no use after December uh, 31st, 2024, mandatory kill due to an editorial issue. This photo number, da 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 da, Britain Royals by Prince of Wales has been withdrawn from AFP uh, systems. It may no longer be used in any manner. Please immediately remove it from all your online services. Stop using, and then it kind of like cuts off. And the speculation continues. And the plot thickens. New York Post, Kate Middleton's Mother's Day Post called fake by fans looks like AI <sighs> talking about the zipper I guess this mysterious looking zipper it's coming looking kind of weird I mean the armchair detective investigative people are on it 
Someone said, can we get one of her holding a newspaper with today's date on it next? Yeah. Why isn't she wearing her ring? <sighs> they really could have like, like that's where attention to detail needs to come in. Like you already know that your shit is like, they're questioning everything. Why would you not have a way? Mm -mm. I'm trying to find a picture of her um, when she was baking. Yeah, so like this was a picture of her last week. And then this is the picture that was taken last week. I just... trying to find the picture of her baking with the ring hold on here it goes okay so she doesn't have the ring on in this picture but then here she is seemingly in a home environment like with her kids and there you see a ring so it's a valid you know little question if it's about being at home, which clearly is wearing it at home in this picture, but not this picture where all eyes are like literally on her. So, yeah, we'll see. I have a feeling that uh, this is just going to keep continuing. And especially if William is a no-show at tomorrow's events where the royals are supposed to be there, being led by Camilla, I think I heard. And the king is still out, so understandable about that. But it's not looking good, you guys. So I'm going to leave this here. This is all, of course, just because I said I would take it at face value if there were no more questions and concerns and then more questions and concerns came. So, and I'm just putting out and reporting what is being said and what's being seen. I find I... Um, it's all very strange to me and I just hope that the princess of Wales is, Wales is uh okay truly and I hope that she does look and is you know joyous and healthy looking as that picture shows and I just hope that she's okay because they're making people question and you know have some distrust in them and that's never good for any ruling party like especially a publicly funded party at that like Anyway, so I'll catch you guys in another video. I hope that you have a great rest of your Sunday. It's almost over and a good week, you know, going to Monday. And I'm sure we'll hear more about this whole topic and I'll be doing another video on it. All right, bye-bye. Okay, so I thought I was gone, but I'm back. Just very briefly because I don't know if you know, Uncle Gary, who is Kate's mother's brother, um, is on Celebrity Big Brother UK. He's voted off because he has a history of DV in his past with his fourth wife, I believe, that they're saying. So he got, you know, voted off very quickly. But while he was in the house, his brief time, he's talked about Harry and Meghan. He's been talking about Kate running his mouth. Everybody has that one in the family. You know, Meghan sure has her two, but Kate has her one running his mouth wanting to be relevant and be all you know in everything so this is what he had to say i believe he's here talking to ek and sue um well, this there's, is there's kind of code uh, if, if, if it's announced i'll give you an opinion if it's announced i'll give you an opinion and he said there's like a code of conduct i guess a code of way a way of which they do things um, I hope she's okay. I think the most important thing, I, well, I, I think I spoke to her sister, her mum, my sister, she's getting the best care in the world. I mean, all the, the family's done is put the wagons around and look after family first. They, they put the wagons around, meaning like protection, like cover, like, okay, let's silence, be quiet. She's getting the best care in the world. When it's announced, I'll then have an opinion on it. Um, and her mother is his sister and I can see was like I hope she's okay but I hope she's okay and he's not really saying yeah she's okay like not confirming it's just take some time to recoup and we'll see you in Easter
I've heard mixed things about Kate, and I don't want to make a comment, but whatever it is, do you want her to come back? Or do you want to work here? <laughs> he says she'll be back of course she will so that's what uncle gary had to say um when it's announced he'll have an opinion on it she's getting the best care in the world which is wonderful <coughs> all very interesting but i'm gone for real now bye